Hey everyone, it's Lacey from Wondering and Whimsy, and I am looking for a new vlogging camera. So I did a ton of research, I watched a ton of videos, I even made, oh where is it, oh, a pros and cons list. But when it comes to cameras, I wanted to make sure I made the right decision. Initially, I was only considering the G7X because I did a lot of research on vloggers that I liked and what they were using and what was easy to carry around, really lightweight. So I had my heart set on this one. So I went into the store and tested out a few different ones and I was still pretty happy with it, but the sales guy convinced me to take a look at the M6 as well. And then I started second guessing and thinking, oh, maybe that camera's a little bit better. So I went home and I watched all those different comparison videos and it actually helped a lot. It helped answer many questions that I had about the differences between them. And that is why I wanted to make this video now that I've had the chance to try them both out. I'm hoping I can give anybody else that is searching for just the right vlogging camera um, a little bit of help and that I can clarify things. So we're going to take a look at the different features, the pros and cons of each one, and we'll see which one I ultimately ended up with. Let's take a look at what comes with the EOS M6. So when I bought the M6, it came with the camera. It came with a strap on the camera that I'm not a big fan of because you can't uh, undo it very easily. So every time I use it, I the big strap gets in the way. Um, but I don't necessarily want to take it off because Sometimes I need a neck strap. <laughs> I'm afraid of dropping it. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna replace the neck strap on this one. Um, I already ordered one and it's really cool and I will show it to you when it arrives. So uh, it comes with a lens cap that goes on the cover. Um, it comes with one standard kit lens and it's the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Um, it also came with a charger and one battery. So that's everything that came with the M6 that I bought. And um, what comes with your camera varies depending on where you buy it. Um, sometimes they come with a charger and battery, sometimes they don't. So it depends. This should give you a good size comparison of how the two cameras compare. Um, they're actually fairly similar. Uh, with the lens on, obviously the M6 is a little bit bigger, but uh, weight-wise, clearly the Canon G7X is a lot smaller. Um, it's easier to fit into a purse because the lens doesn't stick out, whereas the M6 sticks out pretty far. So there's this little switch here on the side that you have to hold down and twist the lens to get the lens to go in and out um, when you want to start shooting. And also when you're done shooting, you're going to put it away in the same manner. And it's one more extra step on the G7X. You just hit the on button and it does it all automatically. You can just shoot right away. So you do have to remember to take the lens cap off and set the lens to come in and out. It's not that heavy compared to the G7X. I was worried about that. I was worried it would add a lot more bulk, but it's not that much. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that I like about the EOS M6. I did like that the zoom is done manually. So you're gonna move the ring here on the lens to zoom in and out, and that feels a lot more natural. Um, on the G7X, it has a little lever that you would like pull the button back and forth. And it's easy to access and it doesn't wiggle your camera around as much, but it also looks really unnatural. It kind of goes in steps. Even on the smooth setting, it doesn't zoom very smoothly. And sometimes that can kind of ruin your footage if you're trying to get a really nice slow zoom. And the M6 does have a much better smoother zoom. I love that it has the mic input on the side here. Very easy to access, uh, that's important. It has a hot shoe up on the top. You can take this little protective cover off and get a flash on there, get a microphone on there. I definitely wanted a microphone, an external microphone. I'm a voice actor, so audio is important to me. Um, and I know it's 
probably not gonna be the greatest on this video, but that's why I'm working on it. I'm figuring out how to do that with all the microphones and things, so it's a start. Um, on the M6, one of the things I love about it is that it's got this flip-up screen. That's what uh, made me choose it over the M50, which is similar. The M50 swings out to the side uh, with its view screen, which can be useful if you want to attach something on top of the camera to this area. Uh, look what happens if you do it on the M6. So it's going to block that flip screen. You're not going to be able to see anything. Um, you can't check and see if you're in focus or anything. So that is a bit of a problem with the M6. You have to figure out a way to attach this external mic. And when I bought it, I also bought one of these L brackets. I thought that was going to be the best thing to attach my microphone. It basically just screws onto the bottom of your camera and then gives you some more um, mounts to be able to attach a microphone or a light. And I like that there were two different ones. One of the things I didn't realize though when I bought it was that you can't really adjust where these particular mounts are so it just points however it's stuck there. Um, you can put it sideways. I didn't like also how it added a lot of weight to this camera and I was already concerned about extra weight as opposed to the G7X. Uh, so I didn't really like how it made me feel lopsided when I was holding the camera. The bracket added a lot of weight. So I'm returning this one. The workaround is I bought just a, a cheap $10 bracket off of Amazon. It's a uh, straight bracket. You can adjust this. You can slide it back and forth. And it's got a mount right here. And what's great is it's not fixed, so I can tilt and turn my mic any direction I want. I just attach my microphone to this uh, mount right here. And it doesn't add that much more bulk to the camera. I can still put a tripod in at the very bottom. Um, I could attach a light there if I wanted to, and I could still attach something on top if I didn't need the screen. Uh, but this is a great workaround to be able to have an external microphone on my camera. And it was pretty cheap and easy. And I can adjust it a lot better and make it sit right next to the camera. So it's a lot less obtrusive. Um, I can just stick it right next to the camera here. So the microphone that I got was the Rode Video Micro. And that is this one right here. Yep. And what I liked about this one is that it came with the cord and it also came with, I call it a triple. It's technically referred to as a dead cat, but I don't really like that. I wanna call it my triple. It looks like a triple, doesn't it? Right. So this is the Video Micro. And it's a really small microphone. It doesn't weigh a lot, so it doesn't add on to a lot of extra weight. And you can just plug it directly into the side of your camera. Real simple to use. And it does decent sound quality. It also comes with a little shock mount, so it keeps it from bouncing around too much. And if it does bounce, you don't get the vibrations uh, that come across into your sound. So I'm still in the process of testing this out to figure out how to best give me really good sound quality when I'm vlogging and I'll let you know um, what I end up doing with this but I'm happy I got it I'm glad that my sound quality is gonna be better than it was on the G7X testing out the sound on the camera I've got my Rode video micro um, just want to see how it sounds and how it looks what are you painting Brendan a rainbow so now I'm testing it out with the Rode mic. Um, I'm gonna see if this sounds any better and if it's picking up stuff or not or if it sounds really good. I'm talking really quietly too. I like the flip screen. It's very easy to uh, focus if you're filming yourself. There's a lot of options for self-portraits, which is great because I do a lot of that. I take my own headshots, I do vlogging, so it's nice to be able to compose the shot and make sure that it's in focus. I love that it has 24 megapixels, so it's really good quality. 
I can do all sorts of stuff. It's got lots of different settings. You can see there's all sorts of different modes on the dial. You can adjust the exposure. Another thing I like is that it has Bluetooth and the G7X does not have Bluetooth. It just has Wi-Fi. So I can connect to my phone with Bluetooth as well. I can start filming, uh, stop filming easily. I can connect a Bluetooth remote. That is really nice, um, and it's something I hadn't realized that the G7X did not have. So I like having that feature on my M6. Um, other accessories. I got an extra battery. I also got this UV filter. It's going to tone down your footage and not make it be blown out. Um, it also gives it some extra protection, so I wanted to add that to the M6 because it doesn't come with that in the same way. And, you know, it just kind of protects it from scratches and, and all that extra stuff that comes along with taking your camera everywhere you go. So I got the UV filter. So I just bought a new camera bag. I got this one on Amazon for 20 bucks. It was pretty good. And I love... It's got a little area you can add a tripod on the side and just kind of attach it on. And I have a couple of big tripods. I never know where to store it. When I have a camera bag, I don't really want to carry it around with me, so this is nice to have it on the side. Um, the zip bag, check this out, a little secret inside. It looks black, right? Ooh, it's purple! <laughs> and it comes in a couple of different colors. I liked how this one is really customizable. So it's got these little modular um, Velcro areas that you can pull off and you can make it have a top shelf, you can take this down, you can rearrange these to make it fit your camera however you want to fit it in there. Accessories, comes with a rain bag, um, I stick all my chargers and cords and then it's got a zip pouch on the side to put your little stuff in. So that one is pretty nice for the price and it's a lot bigger than I expected. I bought the small, there was the large version, so I can't imagine how large that one is, but this is a pretty decent size and it's got a backpack strap, so make sure you think about if you're getting the M6, you're probably going to need a little bit bigger camera bag and to carry your, uh, your microphone around and your, your uh, Tribble. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to show you this cool tripod that I got. I like this thing. This is the Photo Pro UFO Mogo. And I looked at a couple of different um, easy to carry around tripods. I wanted something really small and something that I could use for multiple things. And this definitely fits the deal. Um, it has two of these little cell phone holders that you can screw onto the top of either port here. And it's this little clip. So you can hook something, you could have to hook another camera if it would fit in here. Mostly it's for a smartphone, so I can put my smartphone on one side and the camera on the other if I wanted to for some reason. Um, that's useful. It also has a tripod part, the legs on the bottom, so you can stand it up and put your camera up here if you're filming something or it just becomes another handle. And that comes off as well. So I just use this little part on the bottom of the camera when I'm filming sometimes, um, really useful. This part adjusts, so it goes back and forth. And the way that I use it most of the time is for stability. Um, you can get a fancy gimbal, but it's gonna cost you a lot. Um, if you just want a simple solution, I have ended up, let me see if I can get this working. So I bend this arm around and then I hold the bottom of the tripod and check it out. You can get a really smooth shot because you're holding with two hands. So it's not going to be as wiggly. So I use this a lot for my filming and I love it. I also like that this is really bendy and it's rubberized. So you can bend this around something and like hook it to a tree if you wanted or um, hard to reach places. Uh, you can take this just about anywhere and it's not gonna get destroyed because it's really easy to wipe down. So this is a really good little travel tripod. Um, and there are a lot of options you could do with the M6 as for buying more stuff. I mean, you could just keep going on and on and on and adding on. I'm gonna try and stick with the basic stuff and you know, if I wanna upgrade in the future, I can, that's the nice thing. 
So I just got the standard kit lens that came with the kit. Uh, there are many vloggers that have recommended a different kind of lens that gives you a little bit of a wider field and lets you shoot closer up. So I may consider doing that in the future, but the more that you buy for this camera, it's gonna <laughs> blow your budget. So I like that I can use the lenses that I have for my existing Canon T3i. Um, I can put it onto this. It would make it a lot heavier. Downside of that is, is that you need to get a special adapter to be able to use those kind of lenses to make it fit on this camera body. And that can be $200 just for the adapter. So I'm not gonna do that at the moment, but it's nice to know that I can. And I'll put the links to all the accessories that I decided to ultimately go with down in the description below so you guys can check them out. And just to let you know, they are affiliate links, so I earn a little bit of a commission every time you purchase using those links, which I greatly appreciate. It doesn't cost anything extra to you, but I thought I'd let you know that they're there. So, yeah. All right, so which camera did I ultimately end up going for? Yeah, you probably guessed, I went with the M6. I tried them both out, but I am returning the G7X. Um, it was a good camera, I just decided that I liked the M6 better. Better customization, and I think it's gonna grow with me in the long run a little bit better. So that's what I'm going with. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned some things about both cameras and maybe it puts you a little bit closer to making a decision if you're considering either of these. Uh, if it was helpful, I would love to know. Give us a like, um, tell me in the comments, and I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. We're brand new and so I'm trying to get uh, my viewers up. So every single watch is very much appreciated. We also love hearing from you guys in the comments, so uh, let us know what you want to see us do next. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you later. Bye!